Alrighty. Good afternoon, girls and boys. Let's make a quick video today of an ADP 200 ER. It's a 1215A, I believe. No power. Let's see what we have. Do we have no power? No power, no eject. No power. No power today, boys and girls. Let's take her apart. Today's episode is brought to you by 7 Eleven. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh -uh. Nope. Uh, I always like to take a look at the plastics and you can kind of see we have some uh, uh, heat burnt type. Basically, this area, and uh, you can't see it very well, but yeah, it looks a little burnt, got a little dark in this area. I bet you some roaches got in here. I don't see any roach feces, but I bet you that's what happened. One or two roaches climbed up in this puppy. All right. <clears throat> um, first things first, like always, check our F's, our fuses, and our fets. And then we'll go from there. So uh, I'm just going to take our multimeter in continuity mode and check them out. Uh, fuse. Fuse good. Um, on this particular board, it does have this resistor that commonly does go out. Check that one. You should definitely have continuity in this resistor, which you do not on this board. That's good. This uh, resistor has continuity also. It's supposed to. This one is supposed to, but it's not. So we definitely got a bad resistor there. Um, we want to go ahead and check the FETs in this general area too. We might have one of those burnt out. So I'll flip it over, check this fit. And we're just checking for continuity. No continuity on those two fits. No continuity on this particular fit. And check our other MOSFETs. continuity since we're in this general area we have a little burnt here I'll go ahead and check these uh, PMICs in this general area um, just to see if we have any shorting on the chip once again we're just looking for continuity you should not have any continuity on the legs of this chip and, uh, no, no, no continuity here that's definitely good. All right, so only thing I see so far would be that one little resistor, which is a common resistor and seems to go out quite a bit. Um, this particular resistor is on multiple boards. It's the exact same resistor. Acts more like a fuse and seems to go out way more common than the fuse does. Uh, so we'll go ahead and swap that little resistor out and uh, this one may be pretty easy probably to get it to work. 
already. Uh, here are my replacement resistors. These are from um, DigiKey. No, that's not right. These particular ones are from Mauser. Where's my paper? Okay. Well, DigiKey also has them. That's what they are. They'll look a little bit different from DigiKey, but these are from Mauser. Just a little bit different, but they work. <coughs> I need to find my Mauser uh, part number. I took it out of the bag yesterday, and I ordered like 80 new ones. the Mauser part number. These are the ones I currently have. Which are these. Alrighty. Okay, okay. Here we have continuity going through there now. Looks good. Um, since I didn't see anything else wrong with this one, let's just test her out. May have gotten lucky today. Popped, nothing blue. Got eject now. And power. Uh, so that was a pretty basic one. Those resistors go out quite a bit. So, always check that first. Fuse, then fets, resistor. Should be good to go. Goodbye.